Alright, welcome to Skene TV on YouTube once again. This weekend is a Ghanaian weekend. Yes, I've just named it. All the Blasters players are going to perform very well this weekend. And um, it started yesterday where Iñaki Williams scored for Atletico Bilbao as they won by four goals to now. Today, it has been continuing. Thomas Terpate scored a goal in the North London Derby, a super class goal. In fact, he also put up a man of the match performance. His performance was super today. And it continues. Daniel Kovicre has also scored. Yesterday, I almost forgot. Ransfor Yeboak on his loaf also scored a sumptuous solo goal, picking the ball from his area, running with two defenders. He dribbled them, then went to slot home. Today, we also have Pate who has scored already. Then, a player in the name of Daniel Kovicre has also scored for SC Freiburg to help them win by two goals to one. Jordan Ayu has also provided an assist against Chelsea. The Ghanaians are performing well. A lot of them are putting up a very good performance. And we really need to talk about them. And we really need to keep an eye on them, their progression and all, so that when they come to the Black Stars of Ghana, they can excel as well. Let's delve into it. Before then, like the video first. Please like the video. Please just like the video. You leave your comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Put on the bell for more updates here. On this channel, this video is sponsored by Intercom. Intercom is a company based in Spain. They do this is export. So, anything you want to import in Ghana here or wherever you're watching me from, if you want to ship something into your country, you want to buy quality goods at affordable prices, just contact Intercom and they are going to sort you out. So, the Black Stars of Ghana players are performing as I mentioned earlier on Iñaki Williams, Ralph Eboa, Thomas Party has all scored. Now, let's talk about these two. Daniel Kofitre today also started and did very well for SC Freiburg. When he joined, he was not getting a lot of match playing time, but we understood because it was a new side. He joined from St. Pauli, and now he has become a mainstay in the team. Today, he scored, um, I would say, a normal goal. Yes, I have leave the goal in the comment section. Sometimes you guys should bear us out because of copyright issues. Even if you add it, maybe the video will be removed or later on copyright issues. It is going to worry, so sometimes you have to bear us out. I've left the go in the comment section. So after just watching the video, please don't go. After watching the video, just go and click on it and enjoy the go from Daniel Kofitre. It was a shot, um, which actually hit the crossbar. Then Kofitre had to head home for them to lead by two goals to know. The game ended two goals to one, and Kofitre scored their second goal. And um, he was rated 7.1 by Sofa Score, telling you how good his performance is. Um, was in the game. So, talking about Kovicre, his club, FC Freiburg, has to win two goals to one against the team called FSV Mainz 05. So, they are doing well in the German Bundesliga. Currently, they are sitting on the second position with 17 points. This tells you that he's performing well. His club is also performing well. They are under or they are just below um, Union Berlin, who is leading with 17 points. Bayern Munich, Dortmund, and all the other clubs are below them. And we should talk about Daniel Kovicre getting on into SC Freiburg tells you how good his club is performing. So, that's it for him. Now, with Jordan, are you also in the EPL? He is performing well. And um, against the bigger clubs, you know he has been performing super. Against the likes of Liverpool and the other clubs, he always performs better. And today... Crystal Palace took the lead against Chelsea, and it was Jordan Ayew, Pierre, who actually gave that assist. He provided assist on the seventh minute to help them score, and it was Edward who scored the goal for them. So, Jordan Ayew was also rated very high, and his performance in the game is something that we should be happy with. He has not been scoring a lot, but hey, providing assist for um, Edusoni Edward to score tells you how good he is. Now today, there's one interesting thing about Jordan Ayu, where he was used in the game. Always, he's being used on the right side of um, attacking phase. Sometimes he's even drifted into the uh, middle to also play the normal number 10 role that we actually call it. But usually he's used on the right side of attack. So he's not always used as an out and out striker as people know him to be a striker so guys these are some of the things that we really need to talk about our players are doing well and we really need to be happy for that and pray that they will maintain their form with no injuries and ghana 
is going to do well in the upcoming World Cup. So guys, these are the latest updates. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Smash on the subscribe button, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.